Uh, we still have some flurries out there after the heavier snow bands move through from between 1 and 5 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, no additional accumulation. This is what we were forecasting 2 to 4 from Milwaukee, Waukesha South, 4 to 6 north. The 5 to 6 amounts did not happen. This storm we knew was moving quickly. And it was moving so fast that the highest total I've seen so far is Brookfield at three and a half, Watertown at 3.1, Beaver Dam, Fond du Lac, Cedarburg all at three, Whitefish Bay and Germantown at 2.7, and Racine at two. So most places in that two to four inch category. Uh, the slush is starting to freeze up as temperatures are starting to drop. And I went out to get a quick bite to eat a sandwich in the parking lot. There was just just slush. If that's not plowed, Watch out in the morning because that is going to be ice. And you see that the little bit of light snow now has coated the downtown streets of West Bend. Temperature is 13. The wind chill, I should say, is 13. So the snow has stopped, but we're still under an advisory until noon tomorrow. That is because of the wind. The front pushed through Milwaukee at 8 o'clock. We have those strong west to northwesterly winds. That's now going to create blowing and drifting snow. We have winds gusting 25 to as high as 51 miles per hour. And you will have these gusts all night long tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. That colder air is now drying out that slush that was on the ground, and you're going to get some blowing and drifting snow. Wind chills are already below zero in western Wisconsin. They will be below zero when you wake up tomorrow morning. In fact, significantly below. We have this wedge of cold air starting to now make its way into Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, the Dakotas. And that is just basically opening the door to this, not, I almost said tropical, Arctic air up north. <laughs> oh, man. 44 below zero. That is not a wind chill. It's actual temperature. This core stays north, but these temperatures of 10 to 17 below, those will funnel in to the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes states uh, starting tonight and throughout the weekend. Back into the single digits by morning. Wind chills will be anywhere from 5 below to 15 below with these strong northwesterly winds at 40 miles per hour. Here's the morning wind chills. 7 below Milwaukee, 12 below Beaver Dam. And throughout the day tomorrow, it does not improve. It'll stay below zero all day. And Saturday morning, we're flirting with that 20 below. And on Sunday morning, could be as cold as 30 below. Bundle up the kids tomorrow. Temperatures in the single digits in the morning, 13 in the afternoon. But wind chills are below zero all day. That 14 is the warmest we will be for the next seven days. Maybe the next 10, nine on Saturday, four on Sunday. Look at below zero all the way through. And that's why we're saying there could be some ice on Lake Michigan. Oh, and you may have to shovel Steve Monday once again. It'll be fluffy though. Oh, it'll be very fluffy. Very <laughs> fluffy. Brian, thanks.